Hello, I'm Miro. Today, we will progress the exercises from pre-Pilates one further. Keep your focus and your energy flowing. Remember the muscle connection and technique and stay on course. Let's begin. We're going to start with some breathing. So find a good seat, nice and tall. You can sit on a chair if you like. You can cross your legs. You can tuck your legs underneath you. Find a good spinal alignment. Breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Work on a diaphragmatic breathing technique. Inhale. Three more times. Last one. And switch your legs to the other side. If you have your leg crossed, and let's move on to our TVA connection with our breath. So we in breath. As we exhale, we draw in the lower abs, the middle abs, the upper abdominal in towards the center and still keeping that beautiful tall spine as we contract the TVA. Inhale. Last one. Okay, let's go into our back. Lying supine, feet hip width distance apart, pelvis in comfortable position and arms long by the side. Let's go to our supine TVA contraction or engagement again. We inhale through our nose, exhale. We draw in the lower abdominal, the middle abdominal, upper abdominal, everything drawing towards the center, the belly button. Keeping the spine nice and still, still, excuse me. Keeping the pelvis nice and still. Two more times. And the last one. And we place our hands in that triangle hand position. Fingers towards the pelvis, the pubic bone area, heel of the palm on the hip joint and the thumbs in the middle here. And moving on to our pelvic rocks. We in breath. As we exhale, we draw in our TVA and then we allow the pelvis to rock up, imprinting and lengthening the lower spine onto the floor. Inhale, rocking back to your starting position. Exhale, rocking back, stretching the back down to the floor. Inhale, lengthening long. Exhale, three more, rocking. Inhale, two more. In breath. Last one. In breath and come to a stillness. Now the next one is called the pelvic clock. It's a little tricky. You want to move the pelvis like a clock. So I'm going to stand up and you just stay down. I'm just going to stand up and half show you in the standing position. So half the heel off the palm on the hip joint, fingers down towards the pelvis, pubic bone and the thumbs in the middle. Now we have a 12 o'clock on the belly button. And we have six o'clock on a pubic bone. And we have a three o'clock on my left hip and a nine o'clock on my right hip. So as we breathe out, we want to print every single number down to the floor. So we bring the 12 o'clock down and then we move to a three o'clock and then we move to six o'clock and a nine o'clock and 12. And as you move, you find that the pelvis start to Circle away like a clock. We go 12, 3, 
arching at 12 to 9 and to 12. Imprinting the spine, the pelvis down to the floor. Imprinting every number of that clock down to the floor. And again, we pull back, it's 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And then we go back to the neutral starting position and then we're going to go over to the other side. So we go 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And we keep that going as we breathe in. And I breathe out. You may find it's a little sticky today. We just, we're going to work on it until it feels somewhat comfortable. And 12, 9, 3, 9, 6, 3, 12. Two more times. 12, 9, 6, 3, 12. Last one. 12, 9, 6, 3, 12. And back to center. All right. Stay there. Keep the hands on the pelvis. All right, ready for the knee drop. So we stabilize the pelvis. We open your right leg out to the side without moving the pelvis and come down. And then over to the other side and back to center. We inhale, we open. Exhale, shh. Inhale, pelvis stay nice and stable. Exhale, shh. Continue while I get myself down to the floor with you again. We open one knee out, we come back, stabilize the pelvis, inhale, open. We come back, one more each side, open. We come back, last one, open. We come back, okay. You can have the hands there still on the pelvis for the leg lift. We bring the leg up, we bring the leg closer to me up, to a tabletop position without ideally disturbing the pelvis. And then we lower down from the hip joint and then we bring it back up again. And we lower down from the hip joint. We exhale, we take it up and down. You can also keep your arms long by the side or have your thumb on the rib cage and your index fingers or the middle finger to on the pelvis on the hip joint, just a little feedback to see whether you are keeping the pelvis nice and stable or whether you're rocking the pelvis and arching your back as you move the leg up and down. We wanna keep that pelvis in stillness. And last one, we bring it up, we stay, and we press your hands against the thigh. We press down as we breathe out, we hold on to your legs and release. Exhale contracting that obliques as we press down and release. Last one, and release. We lower the leg down. Other leg, stabilize the pelvis, TVA on. We lift, we lower, we lift, we lower, we lift. And you can keep your arms long by the side if you like. Just try to focus on stabilizing the pelvis and the waistline. Two more. Last one, we stay up, we press the hands down and hold onto the leg and release. Two more times, we press down and release. Last one, press and release lower the feet down let's take your arms up to the sky turn the palms to your feet we take the arms overhead as we inhale keeping and lengthening the rib cage down to the pelvis exhale arms down to the hip inhale exhale so we think about keeping this chest nice and stable as the arms Go up over the head and down to the pelvis. Like we try to keep our pelvis stable in the previous exercise. Exhale. Last one here. Exhale. Open your arms out to the T position and walk your feet as wide as your mat. Drop the legs to me for the hip roll. Exhale. Back to center. Other side. Inhale. Exhale, center, in breath, we drop. 
Exhale, inhale, we draw. Exhale, one more each side. Exhale, and the last one. Exhale, and walk your feet back to the middle. All right, turn your body to me. I like you to have the legs stacked up, feet aligned with the side. I like you to interlace your hands behind your head here. And we're going to just drop the lower waistline and we're going to pick it up, lifting so that your spine is nice and straight. Inhale, two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Now we're going to hold that contraction. We're going to open the top elbow up and we're going to rotate our upper spine looking back behind you. Exhale, come back, face me. Two more times, inhale, elbow up, and rotate the spine. Exhale. Last one, this is called the chest opener. Open up. Exhale. And let it go. Okay, let's go to the other side. We have our oblique lift to start, so stack the legs, interlace the hands behind you, and we drop the waist, we lift. We drop the waist, we lift. One more, we lift and we stay lifted. We open the top elbow. We rotate our upper spine to the back. We come back. Forward, in, open, and rotate back. Exhale. We're going to maintain the gap underneath the waistline. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Well done. Turn our body facing down for the back extension. Diamond press, have one hand and the other hand stacked up on top of the hand. Now legs nice and long, elbows nice and wide. And just allow the head to float over your hands. We breathe out, we're gonna draw in that TVA off the floor. So there is a little gap underneath the belly. We're gonna slide the shoulder blades as you inhale. We're gonna lift the upper back up. So we're using the upper back muscle, the middle back muscle to lift the spine into extension, the neck is still nice and long, and we come down, inhale, to lift, exhale, to lower, inhale, to lift, exhale, so really try to think about gliding the shoulder blades towards the middle back, to lift the spine up, so try not to push off with the hands, to lift the spine up. And two more, inhale. Legs muscles are nice and engaged here. Exhale. Last one, in breath. Exhale, we come down. Arms, elbows to the side, push yourself up onto a modified quadruped here. So we have the hands underneath the shoulder the bottom somewhere in between the knees and the feet and tuck the toes under. The spine is nice and long. So power through the arms, opening through the, across the front of the chest. Let's do some TVA again. So take a knee breath. Exhale, I want you to draw up the abdominal wall towards the spine without tucking the pelvis. So keep the spine rather long. And exhale. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Two more times. The last one here. Lifting the TVA, deep abdominal muscle contracting around the spine. Excellent. Let it go. Release the ankle. Sit down on the bottom. Sit down on your feet. Stretch your arms forward. And a quick rest position. We breathe in here. Exhale. 
And let's go ahead and roll the spine up, sitting up nice and tall. Well done. Thank you for sharing your focus with me and completing this class. I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and pin on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.